today I have a need to run PHP and I have none of the component to run PHP installed on this computer. A couple of months ago I tried this BAMP package on another computer and I was blown away how simple it was to install it. Just to show you how simple it is, I thought I could record a simple video with the installation and running a simple program. So let's download and install, shall we? And click again. And you are redirected to sourceforg.net. Save file. Just to let you know, the download began immediately when I was redirected, so I, I didn't have to click anything more. So now I have this installation file. I hate reading agreement, but hopefully I will not be killed if I click accept here. Start menu folder named AMP server. Installation of services automatically launch. I believe the default name of the document root folder, that is the folder with all the PHP files, it will be called www. And we press OK. And when PHP uses an SMTP server, it will be used by localhost. Next. Enter your, your email. And when you click next, uh, it will ask for your default browser. In this case, it's Firefox, and uh, it has been detected. So I I think I go with Firefox. And now I have the window firewall and uh, we want this service to have access to internet so we, we want to unblock it. And let's launch VAMP5. You will get this icon here. So usually when you install a push, for example, uh, you, it will be made a default web page. So if you write 127.0.0.1, and that is the IP address of my computer, my local computer. So there is no access to the internet. You can unplug the network and uh, Will still work. I unplug my network and this is default web page 427.0.0.1 and this is the VAMP folder and we have the www and why not make a hello world program. Now for you that don't know this a default name is made index.php and this name can be excluded in your URL. The server automatically knows that if a file is named index.php it will be displayed. Any other name and you have to enter that in your URL. And of course uh, you can use index.htm it will also be a default name. So I rename this and create a new one. And here's a demonstration of my extremely advanced program. It will uh, print out hello world on the screen. 
with state-of-the-art 3D graphic. Preview in Internet Explorer. This is some information text uh, that explains that in order to run server-side code you need a testing server, but I shall try to run without specifying one because I have this installed already so I don't see why I need to specify it um, nothing happened I think I do this the old-fashioned way just refreshing and we have the hello world text here now I want to show you something cool here if you left click here you get different options start services, stop services and here you have SQL Light Manager SQ Light Manager and uh, you have MySQL installed here and you can use this so if you want some database administration or create a new database you can use this PHP my admin sorry my mistake in PHP my admin you have the SQL administration and and you can run SQL queries you can select a database and here you have all the table information and the uh, information is written in Swedish so uh, you will probably in your version have all in English so that's all and thank you